All right, we are standing outside of 115 Langhorn Lane, located in Lynchburg, Virginia. Langhorn Lane is a street that has sidewalks on both sides. It's uh, got some on-street parking and off-street parking on most of these houses. You can see across the street, plenty of off-street parking on all of these homes. Some really sweet houses on the street, some really cool architecture. Even just across the street, just a really, really nice mansion that's old last year the houses beside us are in are in good shape maintained well and uh, most of the homes on here are owner occupied so when you walk up to the front door this house has a full front porch it's got the original flooring going on just a really nice grand stairway coming up here and you got a wide porch this porch is about eight or nine feet wide nice columns here's the view from the front porch and we're situated on a corner lot there's a room for a swing right here as well. I think that swing will actually convey with the house. All right, this house has uh, just under 2,200 square feet. When you enter in, you got the original hardwood floor here. This is actually that inch and a quarter wide, real hardwood floor. You got a nice big open foyer right here greeting you as you go in and some cool architecture features, including some really cool trim work on these, uh, on these doors. Of course, this home was built uh, in the days of plaster, so there's plaster walls, but you got some built-in bookshelves and you have a fireplace here as well. We're sitting and standing in the living room. A huge dining room is located off the kitchen right here. And in the back is actually the first of five bedrooms. This house has five bedrooms, two full baths. I believe this part here was actually an addition that was added on, but in the back here, there is a full bath. You got a little living closet and there's a full tub shower right here off this main level bedroom. Coming back in this side, let me just point out real quick, there's a little back porch as well. Uh, through the slats here, sorry. There we go, let's do this. There you go, you got a back porch overlooking a pretty level yard and there's on-street parking, but there's also off-street parking as well, which I'll show you. Apologize about the dark kitchen here, but we have an L-shaped kitchen. These cabinets have been replaced. You got an oak cabinetry, double sink, spinning around. There is a food pantry, and there's room for a refrigerator as well. While we're right here, I'll just show you the back porch and the back deck. This house at one time was utilized as a duplex, so there's actually a stairway that goes up, and it lands in the kitchen, what used to be the kitchen upstairs. That's now been torn off. Uh, this, this little bush needs to be trimmed, but there's room for two cars to easily park here with no issues with public access off that back alleyway there. All right, let's take a look at the upstairs. Coming back into the kitchen, and this is coming back into the hallway where we just were. I will point out underneath of us is a basement. Now, it's an older basement, so the ceiling's kind of low, but it's got a concrete floor. It will leak in heavy rains, but uh, there is a basement space for more storage. On, uh, in, in the lower level of the house. All right, coming up here, there's four more bedrooms. I'll start with the, one of the smallest of the rooms. This is uh, located right here on the front, or in the front right section of the house. And again, there's the view across the street. I will also point out this roof here has been replaced. Uh, upstairs, the main level has central air, and of course there's a heating system in the house, uh, central heat, and then this here has window units for the upstairs to keep cooler in the upstairs. We're in the middle of summer. It's not that hot up here today, but uh, just wanted to point out that there is um, uh, central air conditioning on the main level of the house. Here's the uh, second bedroom, also in the front of the home. Ceiling fans in here as well. And there is a uh, supplemental baseboard heat for the uh, bedrooms upstairs here. Uh, bathroom is right here. This could use some paint, could use a little bit of love, but, uh, but you got your second full bathroom right here. Best part about this house, as large it is, as it is, with all the square footage, this price is only $147,500. 147500 will buy this house, and that is just a fantastic value for Lynchburg City. Uh, this is only one of 11 houses in the entire city priced today. Today's August 20th, priced uh, between 
130,000 and 160,000. So of all the homes on the market, this is one of the best values. Pine flooring in the bedrooms upstairs. And this here is where that stairway comes up. This is where the kitchen used to be. There was a little kitchen apartment up here. Uh, most of the stuff has been taken out now, but then you can see here's the stairway that comes up, leads up to this um, entry into this, what used to be a kitchenette right here. This would have been utilized as a dining room, but it is a bedroom. You've got a closet right there as well. So this is it. This is 115 Langhorn Lane. It's one of the best values in Lynchburg today. Hardwood floors or pine floors all the way throughout the house. Uh, sprawling main level floor plan. Uh, lots of space on the main level, including a main level master bedroom. So come make it yours today. If you want a, a tour, you can contact our team, carlmillerteam.com, or you can uh, give our office a call at 434-239-2394. And if we can help you with any of your real estate needs, we are never too busy to take, make sure that you're taken care of. And for your introductions, if you know someone looking to buy or sell a house, all the best. Take care.